Hi, I'm Mr. Pa. Please call me Mr. Pa. I was born in Pyeongchang, South Korea. I got married and have two sons, my wife, Eunju, and I have a granddaughter. I graduated from Yonsei University in Seoul and Chongqing University Theological Seminary, which is rooted in Reform Theology. On December 14, 1999, we found Bundang Sarang Church as a senior pastor I have followed the Apostles' Confession of Faith. It also follows Augustine, Calvin, Luther, and Reformers' doctrines and Puritans' past in unison. It started Noah's Ark broadcast in June 2020. There are so many lives dying in the fraud of sin in the world. The only way to live in the fraud was to write on Noah's Ark. I started the Noah's Ark broadcast to preach Jesus Christ, who symbolizes the Ark of Salvation. Now, I am going to talk about the corruption of understanding among the human nature. People are corrupt in their nature. The corruption of human nature has spread throughout all its functions. First understanding, second will, third emotion, first conscience, fifth memory, all corrupt. Today, I will talk about corruption of understanding. The most important function of a person is understanding. The function of enlightenment and intelligence lost its glory and was covered with confusion. Just as Samson's eye were drawn out, a man was deprived of his understanding through corruption. This is how the Bible proves it. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 18 says, they are darkened in their understanding. And Romans chapter 3 verse 11 says, there is no one who who understand, no one who seeks God. Human understanding has darkened, so the judgment is always wrong. Therefore, the Bible says, everyone did as he saw fit. Judges chapter 17, verse 6, indicating that a person does everything wrong. Let's look at six specific points about corruption of understanding. Number one, the understanding of a corrupt person is naturally weak in relation to spiritual sin. The Apostle Peter says of ungrateful people of the Holy Spirit, he who does not have this kind of thing is blind and cannot see far. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 9. What do you mean? People are so foolish that they can keep understand how to be rich. But if you tell me how your soul can be saved or how your heart can be find peace in Jesus Christ, I don't know, understand at all. I don't understand at all. People have learned a lot of education and knowledge, but you don't know how little you know about the divine thing. You are ignorant of spiritual thing. People are like babies. When it comes to divine thing like heaven and hell, many people have sharp eyes like eagle when it comes to trivial things that disappear in a short time, but they are like owls and bats when it comes to eternal kingdom. Number two, the understanding of crop is natural in a terrible darkness of spiritual thing. Terrible darkness of spiritual thing. 
Man is born as spiritual blind man. A physical blind man cannot open his eyes to himself. If a doctor operate on a blind man to open his eyes, he would open his eyes. Without such a miracle of grace, the spiritual blind cannot be restored. In other words, those who have not been reborn are spiritual blinds and cannot see and believe the spiritual world. Are you unfa unfamiliar with reborn? Born again refers to God giving birth to my soul, just as parents give birth to me. Those who have not been reborn, like many blind men, have, have trouble walking around the world. They don't want to be guided and they can't be guided by, them, by themselves. Therefore, they are falling and falling from creep to creep. Some people are torn by countless grips while chasing greed. Some people can't get out of, get out of the rude forest. Some people throw themselves on a rock of pride and break it to pieces. Some people live in errors of judgment. Christianity has guided the issue of true happiness in principle, but many people make mistakes here. As Isaiah, as Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6 says, each of us has turned to his own way. They are all looking for those in Sodom Castle like the brand surrounding Roth's house, but none of them can say that they have found they have found the door to happiness. Number three, the understanding of corrupt people tends to lean toward evil. Lean toward evil. Human understanding tends to lean evil like a fish in the water whenever it comes to the chance. So they do evil. When you think evil thoughts, you move violently, but when holiness in front of you, you are bound by shackles. The Bible says, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22 say, they are skilled in doing evil, but they know not how to do good. But they know not how to do good. A person knows evil by itself without having to run from anyone. Men's evil deeds are worldly, passionate, and demonic. The nature of, the nature of leaning toward evil is how much you hate to think on spiritual things and good works. Imagine, imagine offense in a person's crop understanding to keep up with um, good things in a vain world. This job is much more difficult than catching an untamed hungry beast. Number four, the understanding of crop people is opposed to spiritual truths and does not want to accept them. It refuses to accept the truth because there is an evil heart of man. The Bible says, that strong power is needed to capture their high hearts and make them surrender to God. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. We take captive every shot to make it obedient to Christ. Corrupt human understanding does not try to believe in God. Even if you go to church by accident, when you stand in front of temptation and ordeal, you destroy the barrier of faith. You sometimes leave the church. You can leave your wrong standing friends like old shoes. You fall from the path of faith like a star falling from the sky. Their house is built on sand and their faith is on the wrong foundation. So when the storm comes, they cannot stand and fall. 
Number five, the understanding of crop people has a nature of false food. Psalm chapter 58 verse 3 says, Even from birth, the wicked go astray. From the womb, they are wayward and speak lies. Man has inherited a corrupted nature from Adam, the forefather of mankind, and also nature ran to first food. Instead of truth of God, they embraced the, the lie that the devil have offered them. When the devil stuck out the crosses in Genesis chapter 3, verse 4, you will live die. You will never die. Our ancestors accepted it. Since then, people with corrupt nature have been living with these provisions. Even if you listen to the truth, there's a corrupt sound of nature that say, says, they can't be true. So you're inclined to lie. According to the Paul, the apostle, they say they have not believed the truth, but have delighted in wickedness. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12. Therefore, they are prepared by nature to accept falsehood. Therefore, it is no wonder that people refuse to accept truth and instead greedily embrace the falsehood and external pretensions of religion. That's because they go well with their heart desires and corrupt nature. Number six, the, understand, the understanding of corrupt people is arrogant. A man naturally thinks highly of himself, which he inherited from fallen Adam. There are three natures of corrupt, corrupted Adam. First, arrogance, second, disobedience, third, ingratitude. The first thing in crop understanding is arrogance. They seem to be right in both their idea and their chosen passes they choose. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 2, all men will seem right to him. So man lives his own way about without God's law. So man lives his own way without God's law. His wish is strong and his conviction is solid. This is another Babel tower that rises against God. Even if the word of God hits the, hits the idea, it still stands. And even if there is a crack in it, it is corrected quickly. Sometimes the whole standing is shaken, but it gets back on its feet. The source of corrupt judge the word of God in an impudent manner. Corrupt people's shots are filled with doubt, negativeness, and evil thoughts like a house of ants. Only when God's power from above gives way to a man's lofty thought, the rebellions can be calmed. Only if, only if God himself causes an earthquake in his heart and his thought collapse without leaving a stone on it, it will, it will collapse. Or when death hits, hits him and destroys his pride, he collapsed. So far, we have, we have found that the nature of crop understanding is weak in relation to spirituality, second, in darkness in relation to spiritual thing, third, easy to tilt toward evil, first, unwilling to accept truth, Fifth, easy to tilt toward force and force, not truth. 
success, arrogant in thinking. Can you change this deep corrupt and arrogant mind? No. Would it change if other people, such as parents, teachers, professors, and so on, taught and taught and lectured? No. So people don't change. That's a sigh. But there is hope. Only God, who has made a man's heart, can renew it and change it humbly. In the corrupt state of nature, pray to God. Pray to God that you will humbly change before God. That's the only way to live. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15. God says, I'm trying to revive the spirit of the humble and the spirit of the contrite. Thank you. I will end Noah's Ark broadcast now. I wish you the grace, love, and peace of Christ. <laughs>